Hi everybody, this is So Heidi, and this quick tip is on creating a pattern brush for zipper teeth. Now what I've done first is grabbed a image of a zipper from the internet so that I can make my teeth look realistic. And um, what you'll need to do is draw one of the teeth. Now I've already drawn one here, and all you need to do is draw one. Uh, your entire pattern brush can be made with one tooth. Now you'll also want to give your tooth a fill. So if you want your teeth to look silver, then you could do silver and a black outline. And all of these are adjustable later, but for now we're just going to do a basic tooth of um, a white fill and a black stroke. What you're going to want to do then is on top of that, draw a rectangular bounding box that's going to define the edges of the pattern brush. So since the teeth are not exactly touching each other, I want to add a little padding to each of the sides. Let's remove the stroke and fill from that so we can see what we're doing. So this bounding box will determine how much padding is on either side of each zipper tooth within your pattern brush. Now your bounding box needs to have no stroke and no fill, very important or else it will not work correctly, and it needs to be in the very back of the art. So object, arrange, send to back. Then what you're going to want to do is select both your bounding box and your tooth and drag and drop that into your brushes palette. You want to make a pattern brush. And most of the settings in here you can leave as is. We will give this a name, Zipper Teeth Open. And let's see how that turned out. So we will draw a line. And there are our teeth. Now you'll also want to draw closed teeth. So in order to do that, we will again take our single tooth that we drew Flip that around and you're going to need to make three. So either two on the top and one on the bottom or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Again, you are going to want to use a bounding box to define the edges of the pattern and where it's going to seam up. You want that again to have no stroke and no fill. And what we're going to do is have that cut just about in the middle of those teeth so that on either side, that's where it's going to seam up. Again, send that to the back. Object Arrange, send to back. Select your three teeth as well as your bounding box. Drag and drop into your brushes. Again, a pattern brush. And we will call this zipper teeth closed. And let's see how that turned out. Looks pretty good. So now you wonder how you might apply this in real life. So I've got a zipper here that I started drawing and everything's ready to go except for the teeth. So I'm gonna put open teeth here and open teeth here. Now you'll see that's facing the wrong way. So what you can do is at the bottom of your brushes palette is a button to edit the options of the selected object. So select the teeth that you want to flip, click on that, and have your preview on, and you can choose what you need to do. So you can see that by flipping it across, changes the teeth to go in the right direction. So there's that, and then we have our closed teeth down here at the bottom. And there you go. You've got your zipper done with open and closed teeth and you're all set. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.